In the next series of slides, we will look at the European Central Bank. The ECB is the central bank to the 19 member nations that make up the Euro area. The main decision-making body is the Governing Council, which consists of the six members of the Executive Board of the ECB, plus the governors of the central banks of the 19 Euro area countries voting on a rotating basis. The Governing Council meets frequently, but monetary policy decisions are made only at meetings every six weeks. Pay very careful attention to the ECB President's press conference after decisions are announced. The Governing Council of the ECB sets three key interest rates. The first of these is the interest rate on the main refinancing operations. In these operations, banks in the Eurozone can borrow liquidity from the Euro system by pledging collateral, and they can do this on a weekly basis. The rate on main refinancing operations is the interest rate that they would have to pay to borrow from this facility. The next rate is the rate on the deposit facility, which banks may use to make overnight deposits with the Euro system. This is also at a preset rate, and this rate is generally lower than the main refinancing operation rate. The last rate that the Governing Council decides on is the rate on the marginal lending facility, which offers overnight credit to banks from the Euro system at an interest rate above the main refinancing operations rate. The difference between the main refinancing rate and the marginal lending facility is that the main refinancing facility is collateralized, so the bank borrowing needs to pledge an asset. Marginal lending facilities are not collateralized, hence they are more expensive, and they also present a red flag when a bank comes to use this facility. Let me draw your attention to this graph on the slide showing the three main ECB policy rates. Again, note that similar to the Federal Reserve, the ECB moves rates in 25 basis point increments, except in extreme cases like we saw post GFC starting with a 50 basis point cut in October 2008. Rate zones tend to move very often, but when they do, they tend not to fluctuate too much. As you may remember from earlier, I described policy rates as a sledgehammer, so policy rates are not used to fine-tune the economy as a course of prudent monetary policy. So one thing I want to show you on uh, Bloomberg is actually how you find information on the ECB. So within Bloomberg, by typing ECB Go, you'll end up on the landing page for the European Central Bank. And in it, not only does it have where the policy rates are at the moment, it also gives you other information, such as what the total amount of asset purchases, or what we talked about as QE, exists in the system within the ECB. It gives you a quick link to all the statements that the ECB may have made, as well as their calendar, for, uh, announced rates, and uh, effective rates. But for me, the easiest one to look at that captures most of the policy rate uh, information will be to click under calendar number 12. Just let me recenter the screen here and resize it. So this is snapshot of the ECB main refinancing operation rate, which currently is 0% in 2020. You can use the drop-down menu here to choose whatever year you want and to see what happened on the actual announcement date. You can also see here a historical chart of the actual uh, amount versus what was expected in the survey. Should you want to graph what this looks like, the uh, code for the main refinancing operation announcement rate in Bloomberg is EURROO2W and you can then use this particular index. We're going to copy that. And using one of the main windows, if we were to paste that, we can find the rate 
And to graph it, you can just simply use GP as a function. And we can change it to however long we want it to go back. In this case, five years. And as you can see, the rate's actually been at 0% since March of 2016. Going back even further, you can see that the rate actually doesn't move around very much. This is over the span of effectively uh, from 1999 to 2020. So we're looking at roughly 20 years. And the rate hasn't moved all that much.